Wyoming Senator is reportedly keeping the White House focused on a potential infrastructure plan as Republicans present a unified front in the face of Democrats' impeachment inquiry. One America's Neil McCabe has more from the White House. The president's trip to Afghanistan was a close hold, but one of the people on Air Force One with him was Wyoming Republican Senator John Barrasso. Barrasso is one of the most powerful senators nobody's ever heard of. He's the number three in the GOP Senate leadership, and as the head of the Republican conference, he certainly has sway on Capitol Hill. So on the surface, you could say that this was just about a senator joining the commander-in-chief to visit Wyoming soldiers in Afghanistan for Thanksgiving, which it was. But below the surface, it was also part of the White House's effort to make sure that the president and Senate Republicans are all on the same page as the House is ready to impeach the president whether the country wants it or not. We can see what the president might want from Barrasso. The other half is what the senator might want from the president. A Capitol Hill source familiar with the senator's thinking told me that the senator has a big ask also from the White House. Barrasso's multi-billion dollar infrastructure bill for fixing roads, bridges, and addressing urban traffic congestion came out of Barrasso's committee in July, and he thinks it should be a part of the president's regular talking point. House Democrats want to be a part of that spending, but they don't want to give the president a win. So look for this forward-looking bill to give the president something else to talk about, especially as the current five-year highway bill expires this fiscal year. Finally, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler sent a letter to the president Friday telling Trump that he and his legal team have until December 6th to participate in the Judiciary Committee's hearings and their drafting of the articles of the president's impeachment. I've already reported that the president is going to stay away from Nadler's exercise, so there was no concrete purpose for the letter other than to give Democrats something to hold on to as America has moved on. In the letter, Nadler hinted at what could be in the House Intel report and the articles of impeachment. Nadler quoted from the unreleased House Intel report that asserts that there was a, quote, month-long effort in which President Trump, again, sought foreign interference in our elections for his personal and political benefit at the expense of our national interests, unquote. Based on this letter, look for Democrats to charge the president with obstruction of Congress and to revive the Russian collusion hoax. Outside of Capitol Hill, more and more Democrats are thinking that the impeachment escapade was a bad idea as they run out of runway. The last day that the House is in session this year is December 12th, and they have to get it to the Senate for January so that they can have that trial before the Iowa caucuses February 3rd and the New Hampshire primary February 11th. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, at the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.